I used to experience public school just like you guys did. When I was a little girl, I used to, I used to fit into public school. My parents would put, used to put me in public school for a while because they thought it might be a little bit better for me to try. But somehow the teachers and all the students there didn't like me and didn't accept me for who I was and for who I truly am right now today. But because of that, uh, somehow I knew I felt empty inside because they didn't accept me for who I, for who I truly am to God. And I never knew God from the beginning when I was little. But when my parents learned about how that the teachers and the students there at that school didn't accept me with someone with special needs with Down syndrome who has a disability, they finally took me out of public school and put me in homeschool, homeschooling instead. My experience is that I used to put myself in negative things and negative stuff of this world. But later in my life, I knew that I need Jesus. I need a Savior. And then I knew after experiencing Disney in my life, with, the, with true love, true love's princess, true love's kiss, all that stuff was kind of not, not good for me and not good for my own life spiritually. And so I accepted Christ when I was little, like about 10, 10 and a half, around that time. And I remembered I really did need the saints anyway for that same reason because God's word is true, and that his word is the only thing that kept me going. And I started reading it a little bit in my children's Bible, uh, a little bit, but I never knew him exactly as my real Heavenly Father in heaven and my Savior, Jesus, as well. So I recently got baptized at age 11, when I finally accepted Jesus into my heart and I was baptized. And then my whole life changed because of, because of God himself. And he, and he saved me from myself and from my own sins, and he forgave me. And because of that, he gave me a dream to be a public speaker someday, to be his mouthpiece and to be his secret weapon. Because... I knew that someday I would speak about God's love and truth and that someday I would speak it to my high school ministry someday. And this was the church that I was initially actually dedicated at when I was a baby. Our former pastor, Ted Kitchens, was the one who dedicated me at this church. And so that's why uh, we decided to come back after we uh, moved to other churches for a while. Because I was very sickly up to that point when I was little because I had, because I have asthma. And because of that, I was very sickly for months. It was kind of hard for my parents. And it was kind of like a, it seemed, it felt like to them, kind of like a burn to them. But later, it wasn't that much hard of a burn because they knew that God had a plan for my life and that he knows everything about my future. After that, I realized I wanted to be some sort of speaker that I would be able to speak God's word, God's word and truth into others because I want them to see how God has helped change me in my life. And, but not just being changed, but being transformed and renewed my mind. In just like the Bible says in uh, Romans 12, which tells us that we are to be that we are to be transformed and renew our minds, not conformed to this world. God does not want us to be conformed to things that are temporary here. He wants us to be fully heavenly of what is above, what is in heaven, because someday in heaven we're gonna have. No more pain, no more tears, no more comparing others, no more comparing ourselves to others because 
there's both good side and bad side to comparison, but sometimes comparison can be bad for us at times because we tend to uh, make it to ourselves and we don't really get what God wants us to be because in Genesis 1, it tells us that we are creating His image and His image and His likeness because He values us the way we are and we do not want the world to control what our value is. Our value is a who and it's God and it's God who values us and that's how worthy you are to Him. And that's what I want for you guys and because God knows what's best for you all and I know what's best for you guys because I believe that to myself as well because I experienced that myself. And now here I am uh, as an official associate speaker and I get to give this to you as a as someone who really cares and loves you all so very much you matter and your story matters as well you are worthy and you are worthy of his praise you are worthy of his time and you are beautiful the way you are it's not who you look it's not the way you look or the way you might feel or whatever it might be you are worthy and you are beautiful and you are enough to to him you are enough to god because he has given you great skills and and talents and gifts and abilities that he's given to you and i want you to be able to use those gifts and talents and everything he's given you because he knows what your future is and that's why i want that's what christ temple wants that's what christ temple wants to help you to equip you and i want to help equip you and your parents so that your parents would help guard and protect your minds and your hearts in Christ Jesus. And thank you.